Today, Jacob Hogart started speaking for himself. For weeks, the jury has listened to testimony from the two complainants, women who both accused the former leader of the rock band Headley of raping them. On the stand today, Hogart began by describing how his life changed as Headley grew more popular. He talked about a life he'd only dreamt of, how easily it was to meet women sexually, romances, one-night stands, he said. That was the lifestyle. The defense also dug into the details of what happened in two Toronto hotel rooms and the sexual practices that Hogart enjoyed. The former singer talked about spitting and slapping, or what he described as tapping their faces, also calling women sluts and whores. But when the defense lawyer read the complainant number one's claims to him, he insisted it was consensual. She says she tried to stop the sex by saying, no, stop, I don't want this. Did she say those things? She did not say those things. Did she tell you you're hurting me? No. She says she was crying during sex. Did that happen? Absolutely not. Well, Hogart has pled not guilty and insists the accusers consented in both encounters. This defense attorney says he doesn't have to convince the jury. Um, But even if they don't believe him, his evidence may leave them in a state of, I just don't know what happened. And that's what we call a reasonable doubt. And that's all he has to raise. As the focus shifted, the Crown asked Hogard about establishing contact with one of the accusers before she was 16. In one of the more contentious moments, the Crown asked how Hogard could be sure the accuser, who was 16 at the time and just a casual acquaintance, was consenting. Hogard replied, our conversation was as nonverbal as it was verbal. The cross-examination of Jacob Hogart continues tomorrow when the limousine driver who brought the young woman to the hotel is also expected to testify. Eli Glaster, CBC News, Toronto.